top of this thing. It looks badass out the doors. Built uh, they're Axle Tech 4000s. Should be good. Okay, we're good. We're good on YouTube. Did you have it public, Cody? What? You have it public? Yeah. Are you sure? Yep. Good. She should have it. Is it good? Yes. Yeah, as long as you made sure you, the the it was public. Craig, you don't All right, YouTube. Anything. You want a little walk around? We're out driving Hellboy today. De Niro, folks. Hi, folks. It's De Niro. Alright, hey. You want to follow me? I'm going to drive it a little bit. Yeah. Just make sure you get the whole truck and... What's wrong with that fan? Fans running all the time. You want me to hand it? Where's the Nero? This rooster is hard to get used to. Sorry, folks. I don't know how far I thought y'all were outside. I don't know how far away you can get from me. How far away can you get from my phone? Okay, we're going to go. Questionable? Here, you're going to need to let me get out from me. Why? Here. Because it's connected. Here. That, that camera's running off my north side. So the mirror needs to stay beside the truck. Give me your phone. Put it in my pocket.
guys on YouTube, if you can hear me, um, we will get to your comments here in just a few. on YouTube we uh, are unable to see the comments right now so just keep leaving your comments there and uh, we'll get to them as soon as we uh, get out of the field here
you able to see the comments? Okay. Yeah, but I don't have a camera for him to answer it. So. Shut it off, babe. Well, Thank folks, you, got her out, drove her around a little bit. I hear a lot of stuff rattling in there. We got to get all of our airlines hooked up, get our lockers hooked up. Super soft. Did you see when I'm turning? The thing's like... When you gapped it, it leans to the right a little bit. It's crazy. How soft is it? What do y'all think, folks? Huh? Want to answer some questions? <laughs> How do you know if there's a human standing in front of Hellboy? You feel it when you run him over. <laughs> I wouldn't stand in front of Hellboy. Like, if you're standing in front of Hellboy, like... You're living life on the edge. Yeah. Might not be a good place to be. You don't stand on the tracks when the train's coming through. How's the... How's the audio, folks? Tuned now, folks. God, how about this wind? Yeah. We can just go sit in Hellboy. The audio is good. Oh, it is? It's got the dead cat on there. Yeah, this one's just got the foam one. So. Hammer 
down. <laughs> Sounds like it's missing. God, that thing is huge. When and if you do your Sunday lives, what time will you do them, or will it vary every Sunday? Uh, we're gonna we'll do them on the same time every day, folks. We'll do another poll and we'll figure out what time <laughs> works best for everybody based on our time. That's definitely the world's largest off-road wrecker, folks. If you know somebody with one bigger, let us know. We'll build a bigger one. Um, you want to tell everybody to like, subscribe, and share? If y'all like that action, better subscribe, share, like, comment. And you're gonna wanna see you're gonna wanna see this truck in real life, folks. So you better go to the the off-road games because it's gonna be there. Or come see us. Come see us here. Trey just about ran off that cliff, huh? Michael McSpirit said a few more turns and you'll be a pro at four wheel steering. Yeah, um, definitely takes some getting used to. Scott, I'm not going to butcher your last name. Get it on a trail to test it. Oh, we will. Todd said it needs more communist exhaust fluid. It's plumb out <laughs> communist exhaust fluid. It feels like you're on ice or something. Oh, drive it, Tate? De Niro? Drive it? Take her easy, huh? Yep. We are. Reverse, hey. Pop the hood. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely big enough. We got a lot of horsepower going through it. So uh, we have a stroker pump, 120 horse injectors. We got it tuned. It's got compound turbos. So yeah, it, it should have plenty of horsepower. I think it's got somewhere around like seven, 700, 750. If not, we're gonna build a bigger one.
America. Is that the permanent exhaust? Adam no. Wants to know. No, we haven't figured out what we're going to run for exhaust, but it's just five inch dumped out of the bottom right now. I want to run a stack. I just haven't figured out how to incorporate it into the bed yet. Maybe a hood stack. I don't know. But then I don't want I don't want all the exhaust all over my windshield all the time either. Uh, multiple people are saying you need to put electric steps on Hellboy. Uh, I think if I put electric steps on there, we'll tear them off. So I think we're, we're going to put something else on there. Uh, that works a little bit better. Something that we aren't going to tear off when we're in the rocks or four wheeling it. Jump in there, Trey. Jump in there with the tape. Huh? It doesn't have ABS. Congratulations, how's the gearing feel? Grab yourself some sway bars, especially for the rear. You can use the self balance out the suspension. Uh no, we're the it feels pretty good. Um I don't know, it's hard to we don't have the transfer case, the air hooked up to the transfer case yet, so uh I mean the high gears feel good, but the we can't test the low yet, so um, we haven't got the air going on it yet. We got to get the winches going. Uh, I got the front winch going, but I got to get the back winches going. I got to get the PTO going, and I have a few things that we got to get going on it. The air for the air suspension in the rear, lockers, transfer case, that all runs off of air, so. We got four winches we got to put in there. Yeah, it's going to have five winches total. Um, Hot Rod, yeah, the audio is horrible. It's when Hellboy is next to us. Uh, as soon as Hellboy just pulled away, the audio is fine. So I don't think it's the wind. I, well, I think it was the wind a second ago, but unless it's me blocking the wind. <coughs> it's probably, it's probably it's Hellboy. Uh, Megan asked, are the off-road games really 125 bucks a person? That's what I saw on there, too. Yeah. I don't I know. Think I think, like, children yeah. under 12 or something are free, but I, I don't remember. I'd have to relook at the I'm website. not real sure about the price. I haven't even checked into it. Yeah. So. It's our first year going. We, uh, I don't know a whole lot about it, folks, so. No, not yeah, yet. Yeah, and we haven't, they <laughs> we haven't, don't have any details haven't yet. told us anything about it yet, other yeah. than we've uh, been accepted to go. Grady Huskin says congratulations, Wrecker Rick. Andy Turner said go climb something. We got to finish her up, Andy. Then we will. Today's the first day getting out of the shop. We're just getting a feel for it, checking some stuff out. I wanted to see if the thing would even run and drive, <laughs> honestly. So, um, Todd uh, would like to know if you're going to paint the body and wrap the cab. Uh, it, it, we'll probably paint it, but we're not going to wrap it. We'll, it'll just be red. If we do wrap it, it'll be uh, a red wrap. And with Murphy's Diesel, it's Hellboy. It's got to stay red. Darwin said the next. Next should be a track set up for Hellboy. Yeah, now that I turned into the wind, it's getting choppy again. Shut it off, De Niro. What do you think about tracks for Hellboy? Yeah, I'm thinking that like we have to put tracks on Hellboy. You know, at least if we only do it once, just to try it out. It's gonna take some huge tracks, so. And I got a quote for tracks on it, 120,000 folks. Kentucky Bluegrass wants to know why you're driving Hellboy like you're driving Miss Daisy. <laughs> 
we just got it out of the shop. <laughs> None of the bolts are even tightened up yet. Uh, Henry G said, now that Hellboy... Uh, uh -huh. What? Huh? What? Feels like a dry Feels like the transfer case is rolling. There's a lot of stuff <laughs> rattling around in there. Tyler, we're going to the off road games this year. I don't know if they could hear you with the mic pointed at me. Um, Henry G said that now that Hellboy's out of the shop, you guys can put that Hellifant T Money's Jeep. That would be awesome. There we go. Might need to put that elephant in Hellboy. <laughs> uh, Rainwater said, is it always windy out there? Pretty much. Uh, Ash Fork is definitely known for its wind. Gerald wants to know if the transmission is stock. No, it's got an Allison 1000 tranny in it. Built Allison 1000. Works no for bad news. It is not for that. We don't really dabble in that. Um, Casey Wilcox said military cable steps, and Grady Huskins says well chain steps. Uh, we thought about running chain steps. Um, I don't know. Todd said flexible cable steps. Yeah. Maybe I'm wanting something that comes down and then folds up out of the way. I mean, Hellboy looks really cool, so. Like, I mean, some chain steps hanging off of it might... Do you have rock sliders on the rockers? Yeah. Yeah, you want to check them out? The rockers are rock sliders, folks. We cut the bottom of the truck off and welded some 2x6 uh, square tubing to it. Rich McCarthy said, take it to get an alignment. That's not a bad idea. What do you think they'd say if we showed up for an alignment? Go right down the road. No. Down the road where? Uh, there's a guy in town that's got an alignment machine. There's a, there's a guy in town that has an alignment machine? Mm -hmm. I was thinking like Big O or something. We roll in there. <laughs> Yeah, we have we a portable. Have a machine. <laughs> yeah. We have a portable. We can we can live. Yeah, but the whole point of it is it'd be funny. Go. It'd be funny to take it to the alignment shop. Right. What we ought to do is take it to the Biltmore and have a valet it. <laughs> uh, Mike Barnes said he just sold a set of Nathan train horns that would be good on Hellboy. Uh, see if you can get them back. <laughs> we'll take them. Where's Hot Rod? I ain't seen him. Apparently he's Mr. Mom now. Uh, Henry G said Hot Rod better get his ace in gear and get those systems up and running. And for all you folks that's been riding my ass about getting a belt, I don't wear belts. I wear suspenders. <laughs> and I'm sorry that I've been slacking. slacking and not wearing my suspenders, but I promise y'all won't see my ass in any videos anymore. Somebody ask him some questions. Uh, I think we should take the doors off too this summer. When we put a roll cage in it, we'll put See, all that mud when you guys are going through mud and stuff. Though. Yeah, that's, that's part of it. You know, that's the fun of it. it. Makes you feel like you're alive. Um, everybody's asking if we've received a VHS tape yet. No, we have not received a VHS tape. Sorry. What are you doing? <laughs> Get in there. I was gonna say, I was gonna plug it Get in. right up in there. I don't think we can, because I forgot that won't work with it. How you doing? Michael said that you're above the record games. Oh, I don't think anybody's above the record game. I think it's 
the games. I mean, it's, it's just for fun. It's a fun event, you know. Yes, Kim, I got my jacket on. <laughs> what is the truck's width from outside of tire to outside of tire? But I do appreciate that, Michael. Uh, I don't know. Got Find out measure. right now. I, I'm bad with numbers, folks. Like, uh, the only numbers I remember is my wife's birthday, so. I don't remember. I've measured it like 20 times. But I know it's 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 over the legal limit that you could have on the highway. So we got to either take these off. The tape measure's not even long enough. Here, go ahead, go to that side. Come down. Oh, sorry. Right there. Is that to the outside? Huh? All right, let go. Hold me right there in that corner. 77 plus 37. 114. 114. 114 inches, folks. What's uh, and what's illegal? 110? Oh, uh, 8. Six, right? Eight six. Eight six is the legal limit. Eight it's foot, 114 inches. inches. If you're over that, you're supposed to have a um, oversized permit. So. Nine and a half feet. Nine and a half feet. Working on it. 114. 114 inches, it folks. Is. So I mean, it's right on legal limit. It is. Mm -hmm. It's still legal. Nine and a half feet is 114. No, nine and a half feet is legal eight, limit. Eight eight. No, if you're over fourteen inches. Yeah. Yeah. But that. the legal we're limit. Foot, we're a foot. <laughs> we're a foot over. <laughs> I didn't either until <laughs> he said something. Uh, legal limit is eight and a half, right? Yes, eight and a half. You're eight. at nine and a half. So. Eight is the legal limit. I thought in Arizona. Eight and a half. Does that happen to have a permit? So I don't outside think it's eight. With the vehicle or the load on People the are saying it's 104 is the legal limit. Oh, man, that's I'm way off. I was thinking it was eight and a half. I think it is 104. Yeah, all right, whatever. We're all wrong. It's 102, folks. Over 100. No, it's 103. <laughs> it's actually one, one oh, 100. So we're actually over the legal limit. So we got to get a permit to haul Hellboy. Or just grow a set of balls and drive it. Is there anything you don't like right now on Hellboy? Um, I don't like that fan running all the time. I got to do something about that. Uh, I don't like that it's not done. I'm not a fan of that. Um, <laughs> there you go. Not not on my worst day, my man. Where's your chain at? He's got a big old gold diamond snake chain in there. Bro, it's weird on that rack. I left that in the elbow, man. Not on my worst day, my man. I'm gonna put him in the freaking motion, man. These guys are rough, bro. I don't know if the hand cream is. Uh, well, I don't like this fender right here. See where I cut this fender? My cut's off. I don't like that, so I gotta buy a new fender and then cut it, cut it right. Uh, but other than that, oh, I don't really like this. This right here, my tire. I don't like this whole deal right here. I'm gonna take this out. My tire hits it right there when I'm flexed out. Well, it's, it's going to hit. It hasn't hit yet because we haven't flexed it out really yet, so. Um, I'm not crazy about the shocks on the front. But uh, they feel good when I'm driving, but uh, it's it's just not really taking the weight as well. So I think we need to put a different uh, set of coils in it, different coil rate, coil spring rate. Why did you go with an auto over a manual? Um, just because there, I mean, I feel like if it was. Uh, a manual transmission with everything we got going on rear steer all that uh, I think an automatic is gonna be 
the way to go. I think the power is going to be right there. Um, and then the other reason is because it would have been a lot more work to go to a manual. I don't know. I might go to a manual. I don't know. Um, everything I own is a manual transmission besides my wife's truck and my other 5500. But I like a good manual transmission. But I, it was going to be so much work to put a manual transmission in this. We just had already so much work to do. Sure, we might do a manual. I don't know. Do you know how much it weighs? No, we don't know how much it weighs. So that'll probably be in an upcoming video because I think search to whoever guesses the closest weight, right? Didn't we already do that in a video? Yes. For the, yes. Guessing yeah. the weight of Hellboy? Yeah, but so we were guessing it pre pre, pre this. Yeah. We did. We didn't do another one? No, oh, we haven't. So look for it in a, in a future video, folks. We're going to do guess how much it weighs and then uh, we'll give you all a bunch of bunch of merch for guessing the the weight of it um, I think it's gonna weigh right around 14 uh, Todd Higgins said that you need to send Matt a video of the crew having a party inside Hellboy since his is just a two-seater yeah that's one thing I love about Hellboy and most of the rigs like I've ever had I, I we always build them with crew caps um, just because we like to take the boys you know because saturdays are for the boys sundays are for the boys mondays are for the boys <laughs> the video keeps lagging um do you need to go over there I hate this back in the service. shop should we go in the we shop an audience. It's up to you. hey pull uh why don't y'all pull in here and, and take this back to the shop we're gonna walk over there. Why suspenders versus a belt? Uh, because I have no ass, folks, and the belt just doesn't, <laughs> you know, no matter how tight I put my belt, it doesn't, doesn't help. comes around once in a while I haven't seen him since the last time I ran him out of here so <laughs> how do you balance your G 275s uh, right now I got balancing beads in them What's the leather keeper hanging out of your pocket? Huh? I didn't see anything hanging out of your pocket. Uh, normally, so normally it's a knife. I, I have a knife that I carry. Uh, but <laughs> I recently broke it off. Haven't been carrying that anymore. So. Shannon asked, is he going to?